and my name's Nancy, Nancy Fleming Yoga. This is for traveling. This is for Tom and Shannon, two students of mine that are traveling to New Orleans from Los Angeles, air, and then taking a river cruise, and then taking a train to Chicago and back home again. So a lot of sitting, a lot of walking, a lot of reaching for luggage, so I'm going to try and make this short, and Tom, this is somewhat based on what we did in class the other day that made your hips feel better. So quickly, start with your right leg in front of your left leg. Okay, and we'll take three breaths in. Breathe in deeply, feel your lungs, feel your chest open, and pause. Exhale through your mouth, like you're cleaning those much-used sunglasses. Again, deep breath in. Feel your lungs, pause, exhale through the mouth, relax your face, your jaw, your shoulders. One more deep breath in, pause, so we're saturating your muscles and your red blood cells with oxygen. Exhale, stay tall as release that carbon dioxide out. Okay, place your left hand on the floor. Bring your right hand up and lean over. Root your right sitting bone down. Now take a deep breath in again. Pause. Stay here as you exhale. Come to center. Place your right hand on your knee. Bring your left hand to the sacrum right behind you, just above your butt crack, that little joint that connects the hips. Grow tall and twist toward your left. And open up the left shoulder a little bit more towards your back. Deepest breath in that you can get. Stay tall as you exhale here. Look forward. Stay tall. Untwist. Place your hands on the floors. Keep your back relatively flat. So you feel that hip opening up. Walk your hands back. Switch the crossing. down. Deep breath in. Feel those ribs open. Fill up your lungs. Pause. Stay here as you exhale. Come back up. Place your left hand on your thigh. Your right hand to the sacrum. Grow tall and twist. Breathe as deeply as you can. I really want to work your lungs because you, it is kind of mm, relatively wintry and snowy there. So you need to keep your lungs healthy and a long exhale. Look forward, untwist, place your hands on your thighs, not your thighs, on the floor. Keep your back relatively flat so we can open up the other hip. <coughs> Excuse me. Come back to center. Now then roll over onto your back, lie on the floor, place your feet to the width of the mat, starting gently, slowly. Start to windshield wiper back and forth. Start slow and let the legs progress closer and closer to the floor. You can actually even do this one before you even get out of bed in the morning if you're feeling a bit stiff. Alright, end center. Place your feet on the floor. Press the lower back into the floor and engage your abdomen aggressively and your pelvic floor. And release. We need those muscles for all the walking you're going to do. Lower back onto the floor, engage the pelvic floor. For those of you not familiar, that's the muscles you use when you stop your flow of urination. And if you're not doing that, you should. And then release that. Again, yeah, lower back onto the floor, pelvic floor, engage. These are the deepest muscles in your body, the transverse abdominals. They kind of help hold, they're closest to your organs, so they help to hold your organs in place. And of course, the lower the pelvic floor kind of holds everything in and then release. And we don't want to be wearing Depends as we get older, so we need to use those muscles as well. Bring your hands onto the thighs. Press your hands into the thighs and your thighs into your hands. And again, press the lower back more towards the floor so your belly button's in. And just a quick tap of the right foot, bring it in, keep pushing. Left foot taps, 
Bring it in, keep pushing. And then right foot, left foot, keep pressing the belly in. Right foot, left foot, and release. Come up onto your hands and knees. And bring your right foot forward. Curl the back toes underneath. And remember, like a runner, you're going to push off that back foot and bring it to the front. Come to a flat back. And then fold. <coughs> you can keep your hips on your thighs. Sorry, my allergies. Inhale, flatten the back. Exhale, fold. Flat back. Exhale, fold. If, uh, if your hamstrings are happy for everyone else, you can stretch the legs out straight. If not, hands on your thighs and bend your knees. And everyone just let your head relax down. You can shake your head yes and no. And come up to stand. Nice. And reach the arms up. Holding onto the right forearm, reach up to the ceiling and lean to your left. And lift your right leg. We need balance and to strengthen our hips. And to center, holding onto the left forearm, lean to your right. Lift your left foot. Come to center and release the arms down. Now, reach the arms forward and up. Reach the right arm forward, left arm back. Feel a little bit of twist in the upper body. Bring the hands to the hips, centers the torso, and then the left arm forward, right arm back. Coming up, and the torso centers. And then to repeat that, right arm forward, left arm back. Past the hips, you come forward. And then left arm forward, right arm back. Coming up to center. One more time, now really reach as you bring the arms around. Reach, reach, reach as though you could touch opposite walls. Hands come to the hips, your torso's forward, left arm forward, right arm back, and up. And reach, oh, opposite direction now. Turning all the way, left arm forward, right arm back, sweeps past the hips, your torso's forward. Left arm behind you, right arm forward, with the arms come up to the ceiling, your torso's forward. One more, reaching it back. Hips. Hands past the hips, right arm forward, coming up, center, and release. Okay, now I'm going to turn sideways. So you're going to put your right foot forward and your left foot back. I want you on the ball of your back foot. I want your knee over your ankle. Keep your hips level. If you just straighten the front leg, and that back heel comes down. Keep the back leg straight. Bend the front knee, and then straighten. Bend and straighten. Now keep the tailbone down, the belly pulling up and straighten. Bend and straighten. And now bend, reach the hands up, pull the thumbs, interlace your thumbs, drop your elbows down, and pull, try to pull the elbows away from you and toward each wall and hold on to those thumbs tight. Belly in, tailbone down. And then release the arms, step forward. And feel that left hip nice and open. Left foot forward, right foot back. Make sure your knee again is over your ankle. All five toes facing forward. You're on the ball of your back foot. Yes, it's a balancing act at the same time. Belly in, tailbone down, grow tall. Straighten front leg, keep the back leg straight, and bend. Straighten and bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Reach up. Pull the thumbs the opposite direction. Drop the elbows down. Pull them towards the walls. and Pull the thumbs tight. Drop your shoulders down. Breathing deeply. Feel that right thigh opening. Release the arms down and step forward. Nice stretch the hip flexors. One more. Let's turn your right toes out, your left heel slightly back as we come into warrior two. 
You're gonna want your knee over your ankle, arms out straight, one arm facing each wall, your chest facing me. Press your knee, your right knee, towards your baby toe, and then look over your right fingertips. So we're opening up the right thigh, strengthening your right hip, and stretching and strengthening the left inner thigh. So coming up, hands on the hips, and switch sides. Okay, knee over ankle, pressing toward the baby toe, right leg straight, reach the arms out, swivel your head to look over your fingertips, Belly in, tailbone down, grow tall. Press on the heel of the left foot, tighten the right thigh. And breathe. Coming up, turn your toes forward. Kick your heels in, hands on the inner thighs. Keep the spine long, remember? And then roll the shoulder, roll that right shoulder in. Keep the spine straight. Come to center on the other side. Push the leg and the hand against each other so you get more stretch from your hip to the shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Center. Come up. Step your feet together. One more hip opener for you. Come onto your, onto your back. Thread the needle across the right ankle over your left thigh. Shannon, put your hand in the middle, like the needle, the needle eye. Put your right hand through that and interlace your hands behind the left leg. Now, if you can't reach holding on, maybe use a robe, the strap, the belt from a robe or a belt. And if not, then just keep your foot on the floor. But try and draw that left knee in. Inhale, stay where you are. Exhale, draw the left knee closer to you. Inhale, release it. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, release a bit. Exhale, draw it in. And now slowly with control, place the left foot on the floor and then the right. Other side, left leg, ankle crosses over, left hand through the whole the leg like the eye of a needle, then hold behind the right leg. Pause here. Inhale here. Exhale, draw the knee closer towards your chest. Inhale, release. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, release. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, release. Place your feet on the floor, pause, roll your head side to side, like sex, you hold on to the shins. Your legs one direction and your head the other. So a gentle twist of your spine and a release of the neck. And just get a nice motion in your head because you are gonna be swiveling it a, bit, a lot, looking at, oh, look at this, oh, look at that. Right in the center, place your feet on the floor. If you'd like to go into a short shavasana, that'd be great. And then place your hands together. Thumbs to your forehead, your third eye, your intuition to your brain for positive thoughts. And to capture all the things that you're going to see. To your lips to Speak your truth and kind words to everyone that you see, to your heart, to talk kindly to yourself, to take care of your soul. Enjoy your travels and enjoy the rest of your day and go outside and play. Some of you that have watched this video, if you like it, please subscribe. It just makes it more fun to see how many people are enjoying this. Having some comments would below would be nice to see what you have to say. And of course, I'll give it a like. Enjoy. Namaste.